When you dive into the inner workings of what makes up Cardano, it is really quite compelling. In this video, we'll go over what makes Cardano unique and what the experts are saying is to come for Cardano's native cryptocurrency, ADA. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will be able to determine if it's a good investment for you. But before we get into it, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. It greatly helps us out. Bitcoin was the first generation blockchain introducing a decentralized digital asset as a transferable monetary system. However, first gen blockchains were extremely limited. They only allowed simple monetary transactions. From this obstacle, Ethereum was born, which brought a programming language to the blockchain and smart contracts were suddenly possible. This generation had obstacles of their own, mainly scalability, interoperability, and sustainability. Ambition to solve these problems led to the dawn of the third generation blockchain, Cardano. Cardano was written in the Haskell programming language. Haskell is considered to be one of the most reliable and secure programming languages. Many people believe the Cardano blockchain is a newer and improved version of the Ethereum blockchain, offering smart contracts more securely and efficiently. Cardano and Ethereum happen to have the same roots. Charles Hoskinson is a co-founder of both smart contract platforms. Early on, during his days with Ethereum, Hoskinson began seeing things in a more scientific way, considering his background in mathematics. Hoskinson and Jeremy Wood, a co-worker at Ethereum, had aligning visions that the two banded together to usher in Cardano. The three main blockchain limitations Cardano was developed to conquer are interoperability, scalability, and, you guessed it, sustainability. So let's talk about interoperability. The makers of Cardano recognize the value many cryptocurrencies provide to the world and does not expect a single coin to stamp out all the rest. Instead, they anticipate a multitude of adoptions, leading to a world with cryptocurrencies of all kinds circulating mainstream. The problem here lies in the complexity of each with their own protocol and rules making it difficult for them to understand each other. Cardano aims to be the internet of blockchains, a blockchain that can understand what happens in other blockchains. Now, the world of cryptocurrencies has seen scandals and hacks. There have been disagreements resulting in hard forks. These hiccups have created a bad reputation for the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Cardano aims to provide a more sustainable and balanced ecosystem for cryptocurrencies, essentially being the glue that holds everything together. Next, let's talk about scalability. The major issue of scalability is the number of transactions per second and network bandwidth. The more transactions per second, the more bandwidth and data demand. Recursive internet work architecture, or more commonly referred to as RNIA, is a major step forward that gives Cardano a way to naturally tune and configure as it continues to grow in transactions per second. Also, by using Ouroboros, a unique consensus algorithm, they have made major advancements in scalability without compromising their security. And lastly, I want to go over sustainability. Ouroboros also improves sustainability in the sense that validating transactions can be done more efficiently without higher energy costs. Proof of Stake and Ouroboros have produced the most environmentally sustainable, peer-reviewed blockchain protocol and Cardano is the first blockchain to implement it. And now, with the development of Ouroboros Hydra, we have the ability to adopt cryptocurrencies globally without waiting long times or having additional fees. These protocols are the culmination of tireless effort building on foundational research and is propelled by a vision for more transparent and secure global payment systems and a means to redistribute more fairly power and control. Cardano's overall objective has been laid out in five steps. The first step is Byron. Launched in 2017, the foundational architecture of the network was developed and tested to make sure the network ran properly. Next is Shelly. Officially launched on July 29, 2020, decentralizing the blockchain network. Third is Gogwin. This stage is expected to be launched in February or March 2021. Gogwin era will expand technical capability for developers to create decentralized apps on the platform, bringing Cardano one step closer to being a major Ethereum challenger. Fourth, we have Basho. Scaling strategies are to be introduced, enhancing blockchain optimization and increasing performance. And lastly is Voltaire, the final step of Cardano's roadmap presents a treasury for sustainability and voting mechanisms to create a self-sustaining network. By looking at where Cardano stands in their plans of development, there is considerable room for growth. Cardano is developing new partnerships and working on new solutions continuously. Room to grow and providing major solutions generates great fundamental value and innovation potential. 
this combination is particularly good for investors. One thing that sets Cardano apart is their mission of peer review. ADA is the only coin with a scientific philosophy and research-driven approach that undergoes an extensive peer review process by scientists and programmers in academia. Hoskinson stated in one of his whiteboard sessions, all the science that guides the solutions to these problems go through some notion of peer review. The ecosystem has a complex governance structure, similar to the way a democracy operates, each person having the ability to vote and contribute to development. The idea is not to give power to an unaccountable few, but to distribute it through the whole community, empowering everyone with a voice to make a difference. Predicting what the future will look like for any cryptocurrency is difficult considering the volatility of the crypto market, but one of the best ways is to educate yourself on current affairs. Cardano's native cryptocurrency, ADA, has maintained a position in the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap since its release in 2017. The blockchain's asset has showcased some of the most rapid growth in the cryptocurrency industry, brimming with innovation and gaining a lot of hype. The past year has truly been momentous for Cardano, the project now boasting over 1,300 stake pools, and the number of ADA wallets are steadily increasing. Data provided by ADA stat claims, on January 1st, an average of 63 wallets were created per hour. By January 4th, the average of wallets created hourly hiked up to 121. That is a 98% increase in only a couple of days. Meanwhile, there has been expansion with the Cardano Foundation team, onboarding many new members, and Frederick Grigard was welcomed as the new CEO. Cardano also announced it has joined Bitcoin and Ethereum by integrating into Wolfram Alpha, the leading computational knowledge engine. South Korea's largest Bitcoin and Ether exchange, Corbit, announced in December they have begun supporting ADA. IOHK announced the launch of Project Catalyst, Cardano's voting app on the Google Play Store. This is a very important piece of the Voltaire puzzle, enabling users to vote more easily and for new initiatives on the project. According to WalletInvestor.com, the coin will drop in value for the first few months of 2021 before recovering close to the year's end to trade at an average of 27 cents, with the high estimate of around 40 cents, which it has already surpassed, and a low of 15 cents. Wallet Investor also believes ADA could potentially reach 72 cents by the end of 2023 and $1.18 by the end of 2025. CoinPriceForecast.com estimates the coin's price to end 2023 at $1.30 and 2026 at $2.17. ADA could rise to $3 by 2029. According to LongForecast.com, its long-term ADA price prediction the service will see a prolonged downturn dropping the price to $0.10 cents by December 2023. Beginning 2024 at $0.08, cents, Cardano could then recover back to about $0.20 cents by the end of the year. DigitalCoinPrice.com sees Cardano increasing steadily, with ADA trading at an average of $0.62 cents in 2021, $0.88 cents in 2023, and $0.94 cents in 2025. FX Street claims by measuring the distance between the pattern's head and neckline, it forecasts that Cardano's price is primed to rise another 800%. Therefore, the ongoing uptrend suggests ADA will climb to $2 to meet the head and shoulders formation target. In this video, we only discuss the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Cardano's recent accomplishments and plan to moving forward. I believe ADA is underrated, where it currently sits at 43 cents. It doesn't seem to be on everyone's radar quite yet, but once it is, it will be good to have a seat on the rocket ship. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to click the like and the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.